Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Sagittariuses who are watching. So if you have Sagittarius as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Sagittarius, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and begin to get started, Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started here. I do want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, but nevertheless, I am very appreciative and grateful for you, Sagittarius, whoever is watching this or supports me. Thank you for being here. But let's go ahead and officially begin for Sagittarius, please. What energy do we have going on for Sagittarius at this time? All right, so let's go ahead and take from the top here. We also have when I'm with you, I'm the best version of myself as an additional message. But we have two messages so far. What else do we need to know here, please, for my Sagittariuses? All right, let's go ahead and take both of those Sagittarius. We'll put these two back. So far, we have four messages. What else do we need to know here, please? Let's go ahead and receive two more messages for Sagittarius when it comes to their energy. One more message. And let's go ahead and leave it at that for now. So, first we have, you're an earth angel. My life wouldn't be the same without you. If only we could start over fresh, I'd never let you slip from me again. Then we have, I trust in my head, not my heart diamond in the rough i want all i want all of your love i don't want to feel it partially then we also have i'm not asking for much but i need to feel this is real and things don't have to be weird between us okay sagittarius so this is someone that you already know and i feel like you don't feel as close as you once were with this person and the reason to that or part of it could be Sagittarius is you're not trying to sugarcoat anything. You're not trying to pretend that everything's okay. Like you feel the most secure in this connection when you don't. I feel like there were certain points where you didn't know if this person was truly feeling this, if they were invested, if this was just a way for them to spend their free time. Like you wanted this person to have intention but I feel like there was a part of you that wasn't so clear on that. And for you, Sagittarius, I feel like your energy is caring. Bring to me what is honest, what is true, what is authentic. Don't bluff, don't sugarcoat, because I could, I could see through that, I could read through that. So just be real and upfront here. So I feel like that's why you pulled away from this person, Sagittarius, but I feel like this person feels as though they fumbled or they regret moving how they did here. So let's go ahead and get into your energy first. Let's start with, I trust in my head, not my heart. So I do feel like this is a mutual energy between you and this person, but from your side, Sagittarius, it's like, I do have feelings for you, but I'm trusting my head here because not everything seems so understood to me. Not everything seems as clear as it should or as it could be here. So I'm using logic on this one. And with you using logic or not letting your heart carry the way, Sagittarius, I feel like you prevented yourself from being fooled, from being faked out or being hurt and disappointed here. So I trust in my head, not my heart. Your energy, Sagittarius. I'm not asking for much, but I need to feel this is real. Also your energy here, you using your intuition or just going 
on the energy how does the energy feel to you Sagittarius but there's some things about this connection or getting to know you that doesn't make me feel like this is one of one it doesn't make me feel like this is going anywhere or like you're showing up as someone I could trust long term so I'm not asking for much but I need to feel this is real also sensing that there's a blockage there's a barrier and of course you two could get through it but you need some help doing so I want all of your love I don't want to feel it partially I want to love you for for you for who you truly are and that love means accepting baggage um, communicating the hard things getting over the truth like understanding the truth together so with you coming in and out or being inconsistent or there are certain parts of you that I have access to but the things that are too sensitive you pull away I can be understanding to a extent but when I'm just trying to do my best to understand you and what you have going on but you shun me out that that gets us nowhere I want all of your love I don't want to fill it partially so this could describe this person being inconsistent or not being 100% transparent or true things don't have to be weird between us as far as any tension Sagittarius I feel like you were always willing to clear that up or have this open energy this open space but it takes two to communicate so things don't have to be weird between us let's go ahead and get into this person's energy going back to I trusted my head not my heart their energy could have been something that they wanted to hide or sweep under the rug Sagittarius to make themselves look better sound better acting like nothing happened or something didn't exist here but at that point you jeopardize trust you jeopardize a lot when it comes to this connection even that respect that you have for this person because it's like I would hope that above anything or over anything you would just be honest with me because who likes believing a lie no one so I trust in my head not my heart you're an earth angel my life wouldn't be the same without you I feel like for you Sagittarius what you brought into this person's life was I want to say the word order and that doesn't mean like you set out a plan for them Sagittarius but I feel like just your honesty how you are how you show up for yourself Sagittarius how you're firm how you tolerate only certain things for yourself that could teach someone to never settle it could teach someone to have more judgment discernment so I feel like that's what you brought into this person's life Sagittarius but also say you actually taught this person things or they took away things from your energy I feel like the things that they did take away they'll they'll have it in mind for a lifetime Sagittarius so it's like having you by their side or in their corner they know that you're a loyal honest person and you wouldn't be there if you didn't want to be Sagittarius and that even comes to let me refer back to that extra message when I'm with you I'm the best version of myself I'm going to tell you things that I feel are your potential they match your potential or even what you can go into grow into and of course that may not be what you want to hear or what you're used to but it's all to try to it's all to try and help you out so yeah, that message, Sagittarius. If only we could start over fresh, I'd never let you slip from me again. This person's energy, Sagittarius. Wanting to reconcile, wanting a second chance with you. And diamond in the rough. Let's go ahead and circle back to that card. Let's just pull the last couple messages for you, Sagittarius. When it comes to this person and their energy. What else does Sagittarius need to know here, please? One more message. Okay, let's see what extra ones we have. I feel like you're my lover and my best friend all in one as an extra, as well as I care about you a lot. I only want the best for us. I hope you feel the same. Okay, Sagittarius, so those are our extra messages. But for our spread, we have your love is life changing. I'm falling in love with every bit of you. You are golden. You glow naturally, one out of one, complete beauty. And last but not least, we do have when I see you, I see happiness all around. 
Okay, Sagittarius, when I see you, I see happiness all around, but let's go ahead and get into your energy and tie it, tie it in with Diamond in the Rough. I do feel like you saw the potential in this person and in this connection, how you two could grow and magnify aspects and qualities together and combine with one another, mesh with each other. So it's like we shine bright on our own, but some we all could use like polishing, cleansing, like and that could be an act of self-love, self-care. So diamond in the rough, like I'm paying attention to you. This is your energy, Sagittarius. To this person, I pay attention to you. I notice you. I'm not about to overlook you. I want to see you shine. So um, just being very supportive of this person, Sagittarius. I'm falling in love with every bit of you. I do feel like this is your energy towards this person. Maybe this person felt like no one was on their side or in their corner, but you were Sagittarius. And of course, there was other things going on behind the scenes or what added to the reason why they pulled away or they were inconsistent here. But I feel like there was so much that you did love or like at least about this person. When I see you, I see happiness all around. I feel like this is how this person feels or they felt when they were with you, Sagittarius always a good person always a good time you weren't about to make them dim their light because of how you were feeling and of course you may have expressed how you were feeling if you were feeling down or upset about anything but i feel like you you always try to curate good energy between you two you are golden you glow naturally one out of one complete beauty take this as a personal message for yourself sagittarius but how this person feels about you as well. Last but not least, your love is life-changing. So with honesty, on it, with honesty, authenticity, sincerity, being genuine, it takes acceptance. It takes being honest, whether it's not what everyone else thinks or what everyone else wants to hear. So I feel like this person felt this way about you, Sagittarius, but honesty can take a lot not really but it can because you're you're worried about how other people were, will perceive you how things will backfire on you not feeling insecure or feeling insecure so of course it's easy and it's hard to be honest for some people I'm trying not to like get into a rant here but in order to be about it you have to show up consistently be present past the test Sagittarius and I feel like that's where this connection went south this person may have hid something from you they pulled away they didn't communicate with you so yeah Sagittarius in order to be ready for this life-changing love they're going to have to show up be present be consistent here all right let's go ahead and see what signs may be relevant we do have Aquarius for Sagittarius Aquarius as well as Leo, Aquarius, Leo, one more sign. Aquarius again, and Gemini. All right, so Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.